Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about generating PORG requirements. Uh, we'll go over the item tab, including the status lines. Uh, we will talk about the calculation tab briefly. I will also go over the supplier summary tab. I'll show you how to print your requirements, give you some general tips to the video, and then finally place um, the POs. So I already have my, uh, my criteria preloaded. We've covered that in another video. All you have to do once you have it loaded is just click the generate requirements. That's going to go out based on our criteria, based on um, the demand that's in the system and our min maxes or whatever. It's going to say, hey, these are the items that you need. You'll notice here in the middle, it talks about here's the recommended quantity for each one. But I want to start off over here on uh, these C's and S's and the reds and blues. The C's means we have customer uh, back orders or orders waiting for these items. S means we're going to have a critical shortage. Even if we purchase what it's recommending based on all the numbers, by the time it gets in with our lead times and whatnot, we're going to be short. Uh, now you'll notice one thing on here, there's no unit price. Um, if you want to see the unit price, it only populates after you select a line. I, so what I typically do is I hit purchase all and then I hit clear purchase all just so I can have that unit price loaded. Uh, it's not a requirement, but I just like having that little bit of extra information. Now you can come in here one by one and select a line. And when you do that, it's going to populate the quantity to purchase field. Um, now you can still change this. You can override it. There, there's no issue with that. Uh, now you saw me hit the purchase all. If I select purchase all, it's going to pre-populate all those fields with the recommended quantity to purchase. Obviously I've already edited that one line, so it's not going to change that one. Uh, now, if I jump over here to my calculation tab, I just want to cover this real quick. It, it's just the same calculation that we've seen before in other videos. Uh, in Item Master Inquiry, it's the purchase stock card. Um, it's just breaking down how it's getting to that number and um, how it knows how many you need to order. Uh, we'll talk about the supplier, uh, supplier summary tab. Uh, when I click on this, you'll notice it's going to ask me a question about recalculating. You're going to want to say yes because that's the only way to really compare to your control value, which in this case, uh, for this supplier, I have set to $6,000. Uh, if you look at this screenshot here, you can see in the purchasing tab and supplier maintenance, this is where you would set that value. There are other options like units and weight. Um, probably the most common for free freight is going to be your dollars. Uh, now you'll notice there's two lines. So there's the recommended line and the selected line. Recommended line, even if I hadn't selected anything, is gonna show me the extended price of all these items if I just purchase them all. You can see I'm still slightly short. Even that one number I bumped up, which is what this bottom line is, is, is what I've actually selected and entered. It's falling a little short of that 6,000. So if I'm trying to hit that 6,000, I would go back to my item tab, make those edits, uh, and so I can try to hit that 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 uh, threshold. Uh, to print your requirements, it's just simply as pressing this button that says print, um, you know, some people like to have the, the paper in front of them that they can make some notes on. Uh, you do know it, it shows you a lot of the same information. It shows you the recommended. It shows you the quantity that I've entered. Uh, and it's also got your unit prices, your extended, and at the bottom line, your, your total that you're uh, looking to purchase right now. Um, it's not required to print that. Ignore that little error message. Uh, but if you do want to have it to make some notes on, you can. Now, again, I'm not going to go over every single tab in here. There's a lot of information to go in here. Um, if you guys have particular questions about purchasing or pork that you want to see, just put a, a comment down below, or you could ask a question about anything else. But once we have our item selected, it's a simply either you can email or you can hit print. In my case, I'm just going to hit print just so I can see the screen. And that's going to launch... Um, it's going to launch the wizard to show you that, hey, I, I didn't hit my value. It, it's just giving you one more warning, letting you know, hey, you haven't hit this value. I'm just going to say, okay. Um, and then it's going to take me to my next screen, which is going to review the PO that I'm about to place. Here's the PO number. It's marked as approved. I'm going to print this. You can also fax it, email it, whatever from here. Uh, and, and that's it. Now, once you have that PO created, you can go open it in, in normal in uh, PO uh, maintenance. If you want to edit it, you know, make some changes to it, you can do that. Um, sometimes it will ask you if you have a different criteria, if you want to save it, um, that's up to you. Uh, but that's it. Uh, if you guys uh, like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and as always, Atlas here is for your P21 needs. Thanks, guys.